Eight of Signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Today's reading is going to be a love message. We're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you for this particular point in time. It is going to be a general reading, um, so please be mindful of that. If you are interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. bottom of the deck is the strength card. The fact that you have strength card as the underlying uh, message for your reading, I feel like it signals a shift in the energies here, especially a shift in positive thinking. Um, there is a positive change in perspective here. A positive change uh, in perspective with regards to quite a difficult situation that you've been experiencing. If you are wondering about a potential outcome for the relationship that you're in, because I can see that some of you are in a turbulent or tumultuous romantic uh, situation, if you want uh, to know the potential outcome, the strength card is actually a good card. In this instance because it indicates although the energies could be somewhat challenging right now the outcome is indeed a positive one and um, in fact things are going to work out great for you and for the both of you in this relationship I also feel like there's someone in your life whom you've met um, and this person interesting what this has come up as well I feel like this person may have been a player type but strength card seems to uh, indicate to us that you have, you've kind of tamed this individual. And when you met this person, um, perhaps you were struggling with this, uh, just struggling with this person because they just embody this player type energy. But now it feels like there's been a shift in their energy and their perspective. And now it feels like they've been tamed by you. Okay. And they want to settle down. Um, they want to, uh, build a home with you they want to be in a relationship they want to be exclusive with you um five of pentacles this is your energy so you may feel like there is a challenging situation that you're experiencing and you may feel like there's you may feel like you're at a loss or you may feel like there's nothing positive that comes from out of the situation but indeed there is it the five of pentacles the way that they've lined up in that church stained window like that indicates that not all hope is lost you have people around you and you also have energies that are supporting you through this time through this challenging time it also signals that there is like help okay so you have people around you who are willing to help if you would only ask um and also like i feel like you have you're being divinely guided and you're being protected so Whatever this challenging situation that you're experiencing, whether it's a love situation, whether it's in relation to um, a relationship or whether it's like got to do with finances or anything else, it feels like you are being divinely guided right now. It feels like you are being protected. Um, and I feel like the cards want you to know that this will pass and you will be stronger because of it. You just have to keep going. A shift in perspective, a shift in mindset is also going to help you out of this situation. It's going to do wonders for you, okay? Um, but things do seem to, things will shift for you. They will get better for you. Um, you either have to be, I feel like you have to be patient enough to wait for things to change, but at the same time, whilst you're being patient, continue to work on yourself, continue to, you know, to stay productive um, to, and to stay motivated. 
I feel like there's going to be communication from someone that you're wanting to hear from. Now, because this is a love reading, I do think it's um, a romantic energy. It could be someone that you're in a no contact situation with, or it could be someone that is... Um, this person has got to do with this challenging situation that you're dealing with. But I feel like there's going to be a conversation here. You could be the one initiating this conversation, or it could be this person reaching out. But it feels like it's a conversation that needs to happen. And in this conversation, there's so much truth that is spoken and there's so much truth that's being revealed. And there's just this sense of transparency with this individual. So much so that you're going to find it very refreshing. So I do think that there could be some things that are said in this conversation that might take you aback. So be prepared. Like there may be some things that you don't want to hear. But... Honestly, they are being truthful, they are being honest, and they want to be transparent with you. It does feel like this person might be coming back, or this person might be reaching out in an attempt to get closer to you, to become more intimate, and just, I feel like this person wants to be honest with you. They don't want to keep anything from you any longer, and they may want a fresh uh, start with you, like a clean slate. So this is why they're doing it. They want to air their dirty laundry. They want to get it out all on the table. Um, yeah, they may have some things that they say to you which could, could take you aback a little bit, which could end up being very surprising. It may be some things that you have already known about this person, but still, nevertheless, you'll be shocked to hear it. Or it could be something that you, like, the you don't, you don't know and that they've kept it a secret from you but this is the king of swords energy and he's operating in an energy of truth he speaks the truth even if it may hurt someone and you know wouldn't you rather the truth even if it's an ugly truth wouldn't you that rather that over a pretty lie um someone may have put you in a third party situation or there could be still a lot of hurt or pain that you're healing from um just i feel like the three of swords is a reminder you know take time to heal healing is a messy process um and you cannot put a time frame on it right everyone's healing journey is unique and it's individual to them so don't rush this healing process take your time if you're still feeling hurt or resentment take the time to feel it and then the, and release those emotions but it does feel like i think you've been put in a third party situation or it does feel like someone has hurt you here with something that they've said or done it feels like you know quite a sting a betrayal a sense of rejection heartbreak or pain so healing is being encouraged here with the three of swords letting it all out i'm also uh, getting the message that this pain like find an outlet for this pain whether it's writing or whether it's poetry or whether it's channeling that pain you know into it like fitness and exercise or photography or just anything to sort of process help manage and help process the pain because the pain that you're experiencing is useful to you in some way okay um but it also you cannot store this pain you need to release it you need to let it out so healing is strongly being encouraged in the cards for you um, interesting that you have the king of swords and the judgment card as well here um i feel like you may be judging yourself a little bit too harshly i feel like you may be coming down on yourself a little too hard and maybe i feel like this the way I'm seeing this is you may have misjudged a person or you may have misjudged a situation. You may have misinterpreted a situation. So maybe take the time to reflect. Um, like I said, that you could be, mis you know, you could be uh, judging yourself a little bit too harshly. Uh, you could be your biggest, you know, your biggest critic. So be careful. Um, be careful with this energy because I do feel like Either someone feels really judged by you, something that you've said, um, and although you didn't mean it in a mean way, like it wasn't mean-spirited, I don't think it was intended that way, but maybe this person, you know, is already 
feeling quite insecure about themselves and you know that is just making them feel um, a certain way so maybe someone feels like you've misjudged them or you're judging them a little bit too harshly or maybe this is you know your own energy where you're being too self-critical uh, you're being too harsh on yourself be kind to yourself and just I feel like there are some days where you need to learn to take it easy especially days where you're feeling you're not feeling your usual self you're feeling a little off so this could be a reminder to do just that I also feel like there's a situation where you feel like there's no way out or you feel like this is rock bottom you feel like you know it's not going to get better from here or you feel like a sense of stagnation I think that you're not seeing something because you're so focused on seeing what's in front of you but you're not really seeing the bigger picture or I feel like you're so focused maybe on the negative that not, you're not seeing the positive to come from out of it and there is positive from out of the situation now eight of wands there is and especially above the king of swords there is a lot of contact a lot of communication being indicated in the cards here this of course could be travel air travel you might be um, moving or relocating you might be packing uh, packing up you might be going overseas um, you might be moving either homes or jobs but there is a sense of movement it could be movement as well like in a relationship so you're finally going to you know you're finally getting somewhere with this individual or this thing is finally going somewhere you know this connection um it i also feel like it's, especially for those of you who have been waiting to hear from someone you're going to get a lot of communication you're going to get a lot of contact from this person um i don't know why it felt so like i don't know why they weren't communicating as much before as they will now um but there's definitely notice how the background here is very clear there's no cr uh, clouds crowding the sky there's nothing uh, no obstacles in the air whatsoever so i feel like someone finally gets mental clarity on the situation someone finally figures out what they want they figure out what they're going to say to you and hence i feel like you know hence the flow of communication hence the flow of um the constant messaging the constant back and forth i feel like someone finally gets clarity especially mental clarity mental clarity on how they want to move forward if they want to move forward um you know what they want and this is really going to help the situation so you'll notice a lot of contact a lot of communication this could be also with a new energy though with someone new someone whom you meet um and i feel like this connection is really going to take off it's going to happen very quickly attraction um the attraction the connection is going to be almost instant um very immediate and so i just feel like you're going to build on it it's going to be very uh, natural it's just going to flow you guys are just going to get on uh with one another i do think that there is someone here close to you who i feel like is um Either they're doing like a Google search about you or they're trying to find out about you. I feel like they may be cyber stalking. They may be like um, watching your Instagram stories or just watching everything that you post online. Um, and I think maybe this person is hesitant to reach out. They're a little bit confused as to whether or not they should, uh, they should reach out and, and contact you. It could be uh, this person who has hurt you. It could be an ex. It could be someone who I feel is a little hot and cold on and off back and forth someone who it appears as though this they send you mixed messages it appears as though this person is one way and then another someone who is interested in you but yet acts the opposite of how they feel maybe they are playing games maybe they are just uncertain not sure maybe they are afraid it is I think it's a fear-based energy maybe that drives this person maybe they just you know are scared you're going to reject them maybe they're not sure that you're going to respond or not but there is someone who i feel like is very curious about you they may be asking about you um to you know asking your friends or asking people about you they may be watching your stories that you post online um so yeah someone who's very curious someone who wants to get to know you or someone who wants to get in contact with you they may be even asking about um like they want 
your Instagram or they want your phone number. I feel like this person wants to get close, but right now they're keeping a distance. So it could also be a secret admirer or could be someone who's just not sure how to approach this situation. All right, guys, and these are your messages. I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye for now.